So you want to try your luck at an e-commerce business? We can't blame you. There are some people that have really killed it with e-com and are still making money to this day. It's no wonder why you'd want to see if you could get a little slice of the action. But just because you start an e-commerce business doesn't mean that it's all Lambos and mansions after that. In fact, running an e-commerce business is a lot tougher than most people realize, and we're sure there's a little doubt in your mind about it too. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. Unfortunately, there is a lot more to e-commerce than meets the eye. Paid ads, competition, capital, etc. The list goes on. For the top 5 reasons e-commerce businesses fail. Number 1. Poor marketing. Listen, you could have a killer product. You could even have the best price online. But unless anybody sees it, you're not going to get any sales, and eventually you'll shut down. This is where many different people fail. Unless you know how to do SEO by yourself or have time to learn it all while also simultaneously running your business, you're not gonna get anywhere. Can you see how that's a big issue? When was the last time you purchased something from a site that was on page 3 or 4 of Google? Exactly. Now you might be saying SEO is for the long game. I can run PPC in the meantime. Although that's true, PPC is a lot harder to run than you'd imagine. The prices are constantly changing. And if you're not careful you could quickly wind up in the red for targeting the wrong types of keywords. There's a huge difference between buyer, intensive keywords and window shopping keywords. And if that wasn't bad enough, it is now pretty common for shady competition to go in and waste all your clicks and blow your budget. Number 2. Too much competition. Yep, there is just so much competition in e-commerce it isn't even funny. Have you heard of that one platform called Shopify? Well of course. It has over 500,000 active stores hosted on it now. We could make you even feel more gut-wrenched and talk about how many other e-commerce stores there are that aren't on Shopify. But we have a feeling you get the point. When you see all those others involved right at the same point you are, it gets discouraging. And a lot of people quit because of how hard it is to break the proverbial glass ceiling. Capital Number 3. Not enough capital Yep, this is quite possibly the biggest reason why e-commerce businesses fail. E-commerce businesses require a huge upfront cost. In most cases we're talking at least $10,000. And that's just for inventory, not including marketing or shipping. Beyond that, most courses that teach you will also cost a couple thousand dollars themselves. To be frank, not a lot of people will be able to front all that cash. We're sorry if you weren't expecting all those upfront costs, but that's the reality. The days of starting a profitable e-com business with $500 are gone. But we don't blame you for thinking you could start an e-com business for super cheap. Instead, we blame all those flaunty YouTube ads and YouTube videos that mislead you into thinking you can start an e-com biz without a hefty investment. You can find them if you look hard enough, but very few e-commerce YouTubers will confront this startup capital issue. They all kind of just gloss over it, and for good reason. If a lot of people understood just how much money you'd have to front to get started in e-com, people likely wouldn't even join the course they're probably selling. Sad but true. Number 4. Too Early E-commerce requires a lot of research. You want to make sure that you pick the right product to buy and start selling. Unfortunately, sometimes you can have the right product, but sell it at the wrong time. When this happens, the sales won't be coming through. You'll have lots of inventory left over that you'll have to either keep or sell at a loss. Most often times people sell at a loss so they can just move on. At least, that's what the big retailers do. If you're just getting started, a mistake like this could be what cripples your whole operation, and that's the reality for most people. They take everything they have and throw it all into one product. When it doesn't hit, they sell for a loss and exit the business altogether. Number 5. Poor Customer Service The last big reason e-commerce businesses fail is because of poor customer service. When you're a one-man show and you're trying to ship and acquire products all over the world, it can get busy pretty quick. Since you're not personally delivering these products to your customers' doors, there are a lot of issues that can arise in that process. Unfortunately, smaller, brand new e-commerce businesses are notorious for poor customer service when these issues occur. This usually occurs because it can be difficult to get in touch with foreign suppliers. 
especially during COVID-19, and that hurts with communication to the end customer. As you can imagine, a customer will only give a seller so much time before they ask for their money back and leave a bad review. And reviews are everything. The first couple people might buy when there's no reviews, and that's fine. But when real reviews start rolling in, if they're not positive, then you'll not be making many sales. That's just the reality of the situation. So those are the top 5 reasons e-commerce businesses fail. Again, we didn't want to rain on your parade. We also didn't want you to be misinformed and dig yourself into a hole. And we didn't even mention about how bad shipping issues have gotten during the pandemic. But we'll save that for another time. If you want our number one recommendation for online business, please visit scamrisk.com for more information. To keep up with all the newest scam alerts and course reviews, please make sure to like and subscribe to this page. Thank you. We'll see you next time.